Synopsys is driving the PIC revolution with tools for the design, layout, and verification of photonic integrated circuits and devices. The RSoft and Phoenix Opto Designer solutions, based on over 25 years of experience in photonic design, are the basis for a complete PIC design flow that saves you time and reduces risk. You can start with a schematic design in OpSim circuit or with a PIC layout in Phoenix Opto Designer. To create a full EPDA design flow, interfaces are available with Synopsys industry-leading EDA tools, HSPICE, and Centaurus. This enables co-design of electronic and photonic circuits and the simulation of optoelectronic devices. The Synopsys design flow gives designers flexibility and quality as they take PIC designs from initial concept to final manufacturing. We support more than 30 process design kits, or PDKs, from foundries worldwide for a range of photonic processes such as silicon, silicon nitride, indium phosphide, polymers, and silica on glass. Opto Designer has enabled more than 500 tapeouts, including commercial designs, over the last three years. Let's see how you can use the Synopsys tools to design an MZM-based transceiver using the AIM Photonics Education PDK. This design, incorporating MZM and photo detector elements from the AIM EDPDK, will rely on Opsim Circuit for schematic entry and simulation and Phoenix Opto Designer for layout, GDS generation, and DRC. Using Opsium Circuit's intuitive graphical user interface, drag and drop components from the AIM Education PDK to create your transceiver, adding elements such as the MZM and photo detector, as well as edge couplers and waveguide routing. Connect the components to produce a complete schematic for simulation. Now you can place a hierarchical representation of your transceiver pick in a test schematic. You can adjust the biasing of the MZM, then run a simulation to study the circuit characteristics in the time and frequency domains, such as the photo detector output eye diagram for a 50G back-to-back -back operation. When you are happy with your design, export it as a layout for additional editing and verification in Phoenix Opto Designer. Once your design is loaded in Opto Designer, you can visualize the available optical and electrical ports with the user interface. You can also connect many other elements to complete your layout. The elements can be foundry specific or taken from the element library. There you will find many additional passive components such as phase-aware connectors and delay lines. For this design, you can add DC pads that we will connect to the electrical ports of the MZM. Once the DC pads are added into the design layout, you can use OptoDesigner Auto Routing Module to complete your layout. The auto routing functionality works for both electrical and optical connections. You can use the functionality to complete the connections between the electrical ports of the MZM and the DC PEDs. It is possible to run design rule checking or DRC procedure once you complete the design. DRC is a very important step for any PIC designer. The DRC will verify your design against the design rules established by the foundry. Once the DRC report shows no errors, you can be sure your design can be sent to the foundry for fabrication. The last step is to generate the export files, including the GDS, which is the standard mask file format accepted by the foundries. Customers choose Synopsys for its extensive experience in EPDA. 
industry-leading customer support, and integrated tool flow from concept to manufacturer, all of which have reduced design times from weeks to months, saving designers money while greatly reducing risk. The Synopsys flow also differentiates itself with tools such as the S-Matrix custom PDK generation utility in the RSOF component design suite. You can create custom components and IP that is not included in an official foundry PDK, thereby enabling custom and semi-custom designs in OpSim Circuit and OptoDesigner. OpSim Circuit can also interface with OptoDesigner for simulation of flexible waveguide routing that is determined by the chip layout. Synopsis. We're driving the PIC revolution.